Good afternoon. This is Rich Nass, and I am here for this week's installment of Five Minutes With. And this week, I have the pleasure of speaking with Martin Hagerdahl, and he is the president of Ericsson Power Modules, which is an independent company within the Ericsson Group. Good afternoon, Martin. How are you? Fine, thank you. It's great to be on the show. Good. I'm glad to have you. Okay, so with the number of things or devices that are growing at a staggering pace, and people are predicting 10 billion, 20 billion, I've heard 50 billion, um, the power to drive these devices is becoming of the utmost importance. Um, what is Ericsson Power Modules doing with respect to power management to deal with this um, unprecedented growth of, of devices? Uh, thank you. Well, uh, Ericsson Power Modules is, <clears throat> of course, uh, working a lot with the efficiency of the modules themselves and driving that efficiency to, to, to even even better uh, degrees. We, I mean, we not only, say, 10, 15 years ago, <clears throat> a good number for an IBC was maybe below 95% efficiency, maybe even around 90 Today, a good number is 97, 98% efficiency for an, for an intermediate bus converter. For point of load, a good number could be 95, where it was below 90 not so long ago. So, <clears throat> of course, driving the efficiency to make sure that we, we use, we really make sure that we use the power and put the power to use where it's supposed to be used and not just being uh, goes up in heat. Is, is maybe one of the key things. But as we get closer and closer to, to 100%, which we'll most likely never reach, um, we see that uh, with the introduction of digital power, with digital capabilities, where we put digital capabilities into each and every single power module, we can now uh, get the modules to interact with one another and to adapt the whole sort of the little power grid that you have on your board to the, uh, the needs of the board. And, and on the board, there are a number of power uh, needing sources or you know, users, you could say. And the power need goes up and down, just like it's in the, in the big grid. People turn off and on a light or they turn off and on the water kettle or the oven or the uh, vacuum cleaner. The same thing works on the board where the DSP will go up and down or the microprocessor will go up and down or the fan will go up and down. And as the load changes, we can then adapt the power grid so that we can always have a maximum efficiency on the power grid. And I think that is maybe the biggest change that we're seeing now and will continue to see for the next five to ten years in uh, power, management, power management on a single board and maybe also in the system as such. Is there some specific technology within the power supplies themselves that's driving that? So we have the, uh, for instance, we have the <clears throat> dynamic bus voltages where we where we adapt the voltage on the bus after the usage, and and uh, we're always looking for a uh, for the optimum bus voltage depending on the load. That's one functionality. Uh, uh, we will have uh, adaptive power allocation, traffic scaling, uh, uh, phase spreading. Uh, and then, of course, power management to sort of to manage the whole, the whole thing. Okay. Now, you said it's not realistic to think you can get 100% efficiency. But looking out, say, three, four, five years, what number is attainable? It's very, very difficult to say. But, I mean, we are, it's, it's, it is uh, the, the number of the efficiency is, is going slower and slower, uh, the number uh, going upwards. The efficiency gains are slowing, going slower and slower. So it's very, very difficult to say if it's 98 or 99 or 99.5 or wherever it is. Well, what's the number you'd be satisfied with? 
Hundred percent, of course. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Okay, uh, let's shift gears a little bit and let's talk about Ericsson. Uh, you've been part of the Ericsson family for quite some time now, and that's obviously a company that's changed and reinvented itself many times over the years. What are some of the things you've learned at Ericsson um, that help you in your current role as president of of the uh, Ericsson Power Modules Group? I think Ericsson as a, uh, as, as a group and Power, Ericsson Power Modules as a part of that group is a company with a, with a, with a very uh, technology-driven uh, culture. And uh, as such, it's a very it's – a, it's, first, it has a lot of very smart people. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a large group, and especially here in Stockholm, lots – Lot of people in the same places, in the same place, uh, where you meet people from day, not from day to day, but on a on a chance meetings, uh, and and that in itself is a very creative environment, uh, and the whole the culture is is as such very, it it uh, fosters a creative behavior, driving new new uh, new innovations. Just, just as big Ericsson has driven new innovations, so does Ericsson Power Modules drives new innovations, for instance, with our digital power. Uh, but of course, it's not only to drive and find the new ideas. I think we're also, we also have a culture where we're open to new ideas and to try new ideas and to, and to, uh, and to uh, uh, put money and, and, and uh, uh, time into new ideas. Uh, so I think that's that's uh, that's the uh, part of the drivers. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. Well, thank you very much. That's uh, that's really good to hear. We you know we love to hear when management is listening to the people who who are downstairs doing the work. Uh, unfortunately, we have used up our five minutes uh, in our five minute interview. That was Martin Hagerdahl. He is the president of Ericsson Power Modules. And I am Rich Nass. I am the Executive Vice President of Open Systems Media. I'd like to thank you very much, Martin. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me on your show. You have a great day. Thank you. You too.